Hello everyone. My name is Vishal Verma, Assistant Professor, Chitkara College of Hospitality Management, Chitkara University, Punjab. Today we are going to discuss a topic which is considered an important topic for every second year and third year student of hospitality management. Today we are going to discuss about forecasting. Why forecasting is considered as an important tool. We are going to discuss its benefits and we are going to discuss the data which is required in order to do the forecasting. So let's start. Let's proceed further with the topic. Once the session will get over, you will get to know lots of things. As the picture say thousand words, it's important for one to understand that why forecasting is being done. Why is it considered important for every single hotel nowadays in order to earn maximum revenue and to have a good amount of business? So we'll be we'll also be uh, discussing that what data is required in order to forecast the business. So this topic is considered a very, very important one for every single student. Let's proceed further and start the topic. As we all know that forecasting is a process of making predictions based on past and present data and most commonly by analysis of trends. So it is considered as a tool which normally helps the owners of the hotel to anticipate future business performance, which is based on various factors. So it is commonly used in the hospitality trade to optimize potential future profits and cash flow. Now, as we have just discussed that forecasting is basically a prediction about what is going to happen in the future. One must not just do the guesswork else, whatever data which we have with us on the basis of that only we must initiate the task. Every single hotel which is there in the market, they must plan and carry out the task for a shorter span instead. Various hotels nowadays, uh, maybe uh, whenever they keep uh, high season in mind too, and they always play with the rates accordingly. But in all that, forecasting always play a pivotal role in that. Let's discuss the benefits of forecasting. A reservation manager or a revenue manager of any other, or, or maybe any other head of the department, maybe someone is related to sales, or maybe someone is a general manager of the hotel, everyone wishes that with the forecasting, they should be able to plan an estimate volume and revenue, which, which should be uh, driven out. And one of the another best benefit of, of that, of, uh, of the forecasting is the workforce. They can even think and plan about their workforce, which is, which is considered an excellent thing. Uh, imagine, uh, think about it, if, if a hotel is uh, jam-packed and uh, they can even get the required stuff, which will be required by the, by the guest who was, who's about to turn up at the hotel. And on the other side, in case the hotel is not doing uh, well, they are they are having a low occupancy. Maybe we can consider an example for the Northern Indian hotels when they don't do a good occupancy in the month of June and July. So they all they always prefer to uh, shut down few floors, or maybe they they give it under maintenance, or they try they go for the deep cleaning, or they they can even start the snagging as well. So by doing the forecasting, it will help the owners, the management to plan for further action for the upcoming season which is to, to come so maybe during the lean time reservation team or the sales team they can even play with the bar accordingly or maybe they can even drop down the rates a bit in order to have a good occupancy also the best thing of forecasting is that in case hotel gets to know that maybe uh, maybe in the next month someone is uh, any any day which is going to be a sold out maybe a jam-packed situation so revenue managers or the reservation manager they always prefer to put the restrictions like maybe we can take an example of minimum length of stay two or minimum length of stay three and they always try that there should not be any value which gets created between that so they always prefer that we can we can have maximum amount of business from these days or uh, there's another thing which they can do is also they can even close the inventory on all the channels, all the social media handles or maybe all, all the online travel agents. And in case they are left with few of the rooms and they, they always ensure, they always try that all those leftover rooms which, which, are, which are maybe left the few ones, they can be sold by at least the front office team or maybe the reservation team. And the preference is always being given to them and they are always being told that they need to do upselling for that amount so that hotel can have good amount of revenue. So this is this is again very very important part of that. Let's talk about the data in that also. So uh, the important thing about data is as it's being told in an industry and the term which is specifically life for the sales team that in order to get more and more business one should have thorough product knowledge about the product which you're selling in the market about the categories maybe you can talk about the rooms different room types uh, maybe we can consider the outlets. So every single thing they 
it should be on their tips. They must be best aware of the past records and must be able to foresee the business in the future, which is again very, very important. Maybe if you can consider about it in simple example, um, they should also know about the events which is going on, which, which is going to be a schedule in the city. Maybe you can take an example of Chandigarh. Uh, we have a rose festival or maybe earlier we had IPL matches or maybe in case there's a wedding season which is going to start in October, November. So any of the thing which is which is there, which is there on the cards, they always prefer to block that date. Uh, maybe we can sell that rooms on a high rate or maybe you can consider the banquets selling on a higher rate. So this is something which is very important from, from the hotels or from revenues point of view. And uh, there can be another example on that. Every single uh, sales manager, they must have good relations uh, with the companies also who are giving them business on a regular basis. We should always be aware of that. Uh, a particular company, when they're going to have their meetings or maybe their employee get together for a, on a specific period. So we can be there at their company and we can request for a business in case we have good relations with them. So another important thing is we should always always be aware of the market or the client which we need to target. This is this is one of the important points. A good manager must even be aware about the about the percentage of reservation which will go a no show. So only that amount should be picked up for those odd bookings, and we can also uh, be aware of that how many of them will stay for a few more days, which will even help. It will even help us in more business. And keeping that in mind, one will also know how many of them can even depart a day prior, which might result in loss of business. Some hotels can even charge retention in few of the cases, but in case guest has a valid reason, then we can't charge and sometimes we need to suffer. One need to even track the stats of the business, which was turned down due to the availability of the rooms or specific category or maybe even a rate. There could be a possibility someone is requesting for a base category room, but it is not available. Or maybe someone is requesting for a particular category, but that is not available. Or someone is requesting for a, a lower rate, but maybe due to the occupancy or due to the procedure of the hotel, we can't offer it up. So maybe at end of the day, the result is we can we need to turn down that business, which is which is again a problem for the hotel. Later on, maybe we can uh, we can push that lead to a sales team. They can even get in touch with the guest, and uh, then the buck lies with them. They can offer a competitive rate to them in order to earn that business. So, but every single thing has to be done as per standard operating procedure of the hotel. A good manager should even take into the consideration about the required inventory, or in case uh, we keep on getting the queries for room for rooms for a certain event. It can on it can be conveyed to the owners or the management also or can be even thought about it. We can have more rooms. So this is something which is again very important. One should be vigilant enough always and must have a good idea about the inventory of the competitor and their offered rates as well. And maybe once we'll get to know about it, then we can play our cards accordingly. One should even get to know that at times someone can even get their rooms cancelled and for what reason so that can be looked into it. They might have moved to competitor. So one should always be in touch with the spock of the company who has given us the business. So wash out percentage is again very, very important. That's it in forecasting. I hope uh, you enjoyed the topic and you learn it. Thank you so much. Have a good day.